Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul connecting with you today. It is a Thursday, 2018, and it's the day after Valentine's Day. I'd like to say thank you for joining me today. Uh, for those just skimming through their live stream, wondering what this is about, today I'll be focusing on frequencies and dimensions from a soul perspective on your spiritual journey. See if we can bring some enlightenment to these understandings. <clears throat> and, um, you know, because they're, they're not necessarily intermixed. A lot of people talk about frequencies not necessarily in relationship to dimensions and vice versa. And yet there is a combination. There is a uh, correlation, I guess is a better word to say between them. And if you can grasp that correlation, it could expand your intelligence and wisdom in relationship to your soul and your spirituality and spiritual journey. So for any of those that are new, just running through here, that's what you can expect on this live stream today. <coughs> Excuse me, this is day four of my weekly live stream. So I usually do these Monday through Thursday. And then uh, I repeat. been doing this about a year and a half. So... It's a great opportunity to serve the wider community and assist people in their deeper and higher understandings. At least what I've come to understand. Almost all the teachings I receive are from my spiritual teacher and father whose name is Master Shah. <coughs> and some of this wisdom actually comes from uh, this soul here, which is Master Rulin, Dr. and Master Rulin, who is a physicist. I won't be reading any information directly from her book on this subject matter because um, although she does talk about frequency, she refers to it in terms of physics, wavelengths and things like that. And that's way beyond my pay grade. So I won't be going down that road. But there is some commonalities and similarities. And uh, if you are one of those more mental people <clears throat> that need things to be understood at the level of science, at the level of higher mathematical explanations, uh, and then have that information brought to you in a place where you can actually digest it easily, then I would recommend uh, the Tao Science books, T-A-O is Tao. Uh, it is co-written with Master Shaw and Dr. Master Rulen. Uh, that's on a side note. So although I won't be working with that book today, there is some very, very good, valuable information there that can serve you. Give me a moment. Okay, hopefully that one good clearing will work for me. So thank you everybody for joining today. I really, really hope you enjoyed the last couple days of live streams. They were very valuable. Uh, very good wisdom. Yesterday's was on the subject of love and self-love. And the day before that was on <clears throat> the karma of being right. You know, there's a karma when we demand the righteousness and self-righteousness. Very good live streams. Hope you go back and watch those. This morning I was blessed to talk uh, about Soulmate um, on the uh, Love, Peace, Harmony Connection, which is a group of young beings serving the planet, serving humanity. And um, you can go to their page and watch that connection. I believe it was posted on my page. I think Kristen has done that. <coughs> Excuse me. And so you can, I'm positioning myself to sit in lotus position on my chair. You can watch that as well on my page. It's actually really good for those that are looking for a soulmate or who have a relationship that's a little bit sour um, or even not sour. There's some good information in there to how to, uh, how to clean things up and how to prepare yourself to find a soulmate. Also, for those that attended that, or watch it, you'll see links in there. I posted a link and a uh, coupon code so you can download my ebook complimentary on Soulmate Karma. So let's see who's joined us here today and we need your help to share. Um, Kristen is my universal servant that does a lot to help pass these live streams along. And unfortunately, they put her in Facebook jail because she shared a lot from today's earlier um, live stream with the uh, soulmate karma so thank you for sharing so welcome brianna welcome vanessa aloha ma drade welcome yolanda 
<clears throat> Welcome also to Heather McNee and Joannes Brown. Aloha, Christine Urban. Welcome also to Tammy Hunter and Susan Rossman. Kristen Rojas, welcome. Kristen Strachan, Jamie Dodd. And welcome also to Zilke. <coughs> Aloha, Monica. Aloha, Larissa and Janice. Welcome, uh, Lama Rangbar. Welcome also to Diana Victoria. And welcome to Nelson Fedler. And aloha and welcome to Kathleen Fraser and Sam Swagnum. Thank you for joining. <coughs> okay. So let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, while we are waiting for the um, additional people to join. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, we drop our left hand in front of our heart center. Right hand gently remain pointed towards heaven. I will invite in the beings of light. Excuse me. I wish I could clear my throat. Maybe this song will help me. So please join with me. There are all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. There are our beloved original creator. All beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including angels and healing angels, lamas, sifus, gurus, buddhas, bodhisattvas, saints, saints, animals. Our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and invite you to be present at this time, to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. We invite the soul of Mother Earth and the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes serving the planet of the light side. We invite you to please join us at this time. <coughs> we thank you all for your unconditional, unseen, and often unrespected service. We thank you for saving our lives, for protecting us, for guiding us, and for blessing us. Please forgive us for our lack of awareness of your presence. Please forgive us for our lack of alignment to the higher blessings and frequencies you are constantly showering us with. <coughs> we are extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony, we love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on, and we invite all souls in all universes to please chant with us at this time. For any new folks watching for the first time, this is a mantra that we chant with every live stream to serve humanity and to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. You can learn more by going to lovepeaceharmony.org, and Kristen has posted on her chat box the uh, words. So let us join to serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. I love my heart and so <clears throat> I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. So welcome to um, Kathleen Fraser, Sam. Welcome also to Dinah. Welcome Nikki Harvey. Welcome Ali. 
Aloha Diane Hayashi. Welcome also to uh, Robert Dosa and Flower Thomas. Aloha and welcome and also welcome to Lisa Carter. Thank you for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button to let others know about this. So today, <clears throat> frequency and dimensions. What is the commonalities and how is that related to your soul and spirituality? Almost everybody, in fact, I would bet on it, everybody that's here is very aware of the word dimensions. Dimensions is often used in relationship to the one we're in, third dimension fourth dimension, fifth dimension, and more. Now, there are some people that claim to be very aware of fourth and fifth dimensions and on, that they travel in these dimensions often, and that they can go there and back no problem, and that, they, uh, uh, that we are moving into the fifth dimension or the ninth dimension or whatever it may be. I'm not saying these people are accurate or not accurate. To the level that I am at, I don't know that very few people on the planet today can actually speak with any degree of authority <clears throat> about these other dimensions. And I say that because of the knowledge that I've attained so far, which states that if you are operating in the fourth and fifth dimension consciously, then it's actually on the more difficult side to be here in the third dimension. It's possible, certainly, based on what I've come to understand, but it's definitely on the more difficult side. You have to be someone that has uh, a very high level of consciousness and a high level of skill, because when one operates in a higher dimension, they are operating in a higher frequency, which I will offer more wisdom and information on. <clears throat> and to be and to operate in a higher frequency, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so forth, is in, for the most part very blissful, very idealistic, uh, very valuable, and one a frequency that most souls do not wish to leave, because it carries with it a higher vibration of love and light. So to uh, consciously and purposely bring their vibrational frequency, which is what occurs, down to a much slower and lower, heavier, thicker vibration that is rife, R-I-F-E, rife and full of a denser, more disharmonious, encumbering frequency filled with a lack of love and a lack of light, if someone is willing to do that, they in many cases are a very evolved being. Now there are some of the dark side that have that, so they would be called evolved to the negative fourth or fifth. <clears throat> but that's another story. So we're speaking about light side, and so our beloved Jesus or our beloved Buddha as an example, they carry with them a vibratory frequency that is such that our physical eye, and in most cases our other five senses, cannot uh, acknowledge or see them. We all call upon them, depending on if you're in the East or the West, we may call upon a Krishna, we may call upon another being uh, that is known to have a very high frequency and known to be in a higher dimension, if you will. But we rarely see them with our five senses. <clears throat> and even if we develop our third eye, sometimes we cannot see them. So the question becomes, why would a being come from a higher dimension into a lower dimension? And why would we go from a lower dimension into a higher one? Well, that's kind of obvious. We would like to be in a higher frequency. And that's in essence what we're moving towards. So let's talk a little bit about frequencies <clears throat> and draw some correlations between that and dimensions. So the first thing to understand in terms of physics is that everything has a vibration. And when I say everything, I am not making this up. Everything. Everything you can see and everything that you cannot see has a vibration and it can be measured by science. 
science cannot measure every vibration because their calibration of their machines and the functionality of their machines simply cannot do that. Science can see some of the smallest matter that they give given names to, quarks, leptons, etc. And yet every couple of years, because a higher quality of machine has been developed, they see something smaller than they saw before. So there is definitely things smaller than we know that can eventually be seen when we have machines that can see that frequency. And there are things that are of a very high pitched frequency, very potentially much larger than us that we cannot see. There are things that we cannot see that are there and present in this moment. Right now in my room, there are many beings of light, but I cannot see them. Certainly not with my physical eye. I can see them sometimes with my spiritual eye, but there are certainly beings of light higher than the ones that I'm able and allowed to see that I cannot see and they have an even higher vibrational frequency. So frequencies go from the very uh, lowest frequency, which can be considered density, to a very peak and high frequency. And in probability, there is a circle in that frequency. In other words, there's not an endpoint from the bottom to the top. It very likely goes in a circle where that frequency uh, covers 360 degrees. In essence, it covers all the way to original creator, which of course would have the purest and highest frequency of all. So everything has a frequency. A piece of sand carries a frequency. Uh, things that you cannot see, like a wavelength, a color, okay, has a frequency. We see the color purple, the color orange. You see a rainbow that carries a frequency. In fact, it carries multiple frequencies because of multiple colors. <clears throat> the thing about frequencies that has been validated by our current science is that everything that is solid also has a frequency. And every frequency does one thing in common. It vibrates. Zzz, it's called a wavelength. And so everything has a vibrational parameter about it that can be seen under the special scopes they develop. And eventually when they develop even more special scopes, they'll see things that they could not see before. And they'll, when they see it, they'll see it oscillate. So everything has frequency. The human being has frequency. Welcome Angela, welcome Isabel Hunt, and welcome Marina, welcome Angie Taylor, welcome Linda Smith, welcome Aspasia, welcome Missy Dodd. And if I missed you, welcome. Please share. We're kind of handicapped today. Uh, Kristen Rojas normally does my sharing and she's in Facebook jail, so we need your help. Thank you for sharing. So everything has frequency. What you can see, what you cannot see. So as a human, we are encumbered because of this exact specific thing. Because we are accustomed to looking at life, feeling life, seeing life, hearing life, touching life, whoops, I touched the screen twist, and acknowledging life with five senses. And we are taught that if we can't see it, touch it, feel it, hear it, smell it, it must not be real. Therefore, as a human being, we have substantial issues <coughs> with trust of higher races, higher spiritual beings. Is there really a God? Um, is Jesus really with me when I call him, etc., etc.? We have difficulty believing that when we call our grandmother and have a private conversation with her, is she really there? Is she really listening? And so forth. Dear God, please help me with da 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 da. da. And then maybe you cannot get, um, maybe you don't see immediate results, so you wonder, did God really come? because we are encumbered by the five senses. The five senses operate in a frequency range that is what we are born into in the third dimension. So this third dimension has far more ranges than you and I. The human being has a frequency range and let's just say for example purposes only 
okay? That our frequency range as a human being is between 200 and 600, okay? But the whole range, again, for example purposes, is in the third dimension, is between zero and 1,000, okay? If we can only see between 200 and 600, and this entire third dimension that we exist in is between zero and 1,000, then fully half of what we operate in, we cannot see, hear, feel, touch, or acknowledge with our limited range of frequencies that we bring ourselves to life with. Starting to ring some bells, starting to make sense? So, <clears throat> there is, I'm going to give you two different ranges of understanding on this. There is, and has was invented in approximately 1928. Think about that, 1928, almost 100 years ago. Think about this, because I'm about to whack you upside the head with some wisdom. Almost 100 years ago, there was an invention where a gentleman had a microscope so we could see germs and viruses, and we could only see them when they were dead. We could never see them moving and alive. And the reason why was because the minute we shined a light on them, the light killed them. So he invented a microscope that oscillated with frequencies, and he would paint the glass with, an, with a, um, a fluorescence, and he would put the viruses on there, what he hoped would be viruses, you know, maybe the bottom of a shoe or cow poop or something like that. And he would turn the dial one notch at a time and it would change the frequency. 1001 frequency, 10,002 frequency, 10,003 frequency, one at a time, one at a time. Could you imagine doing this for year after year? This is what this person did. His name is Dr. Royal Raymond Rife. And he would look under the microscope and when he would get to the right frequency, that virus or bacteria or whatever it was on that piece of glass that could not be seen before would start vibrating. Zzzz. Why? Because the oscillation of the frequency being pointed at that glass was the same as the vibrational frequency of the never before seen live virus, never before be seen live cancer cell, never before seen live germ. 1928, they, they saw this. Everything has a frequency. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. In the eight to late 1800s, they talked about germs and viruses, and the doctors were so ignorant, they would go, Poof, that's a bunch of BS. And they would take their scalpel before they cut off somebody's leg, and they would wipe it on the bottom of their shoe, scoffing at the intelligence of virus <coughs> and germs because they had so much ignorance and ego, if they couldn't see it with their five senses, they didn't believe it. Then this Royal Raymond Rife, he realized after watching the virus, that if he turned it a certain way, it would vibrate at another frequency, and the virus go poof, and it would literally explode. So he said, hmm, maybe I'm onto something here. Maybe I can kill viruses and bacteria with frequencies. 1928, folks. 100 years ago. He did the same thing with cancer. And when he vibrated, he found, had to find it first. It took years. Then he would vibrate it and pff, cancer cell gone. 100 years ago. He then took and invited the doctors from the Mayo Clinic way back when. And they brought uh, I forget the exact number, so I know I'm not exactly right on this. I want to say 17, terminally ill, stage 4 cancer. Nothing else we can do for them. They're done. They're toast. If you think you can help them, by all means, give it a shot, Doc. And they brought them over. And he wasn't a doctor. He was uh, just a genius. And the, those doctors pronounced 15 of the 17 cured within one month. 100% cured within one month. A hundred years ago. This has been suppressed, of course, because you can't make money on a cure. The wisdom is out there, do your homework. What's the other side of that? Children see angels often. People with their third eye, spiritual third eye see. What's this, how come the third eye can see, but the physical eye can't? All human beings have third eyes. All human beings have the ability spiritually to see higher vibrational things. We all do. 
you can see Jesus, you can see God, you can see Buddha, you can see Grandma that had passed away, you can see your pet that has crossed over. I, you, every human being can see this. Why can't we do it now? Because the dimension we're in and the physical body that we operate in has not been trained to elevate its frequency so that we can see things beyond our five senses. It's truly that simple. We're in awe when somebody can see things we can't see. Everybody wants to open their third eye, but they're not willing to do the practice. So for those that are willing to do the practice, I'll do a short calling. I just finished week two of a 12-week program to open your spiritual channels. You want to know how to do this? Join my program. I keep it open until week four. After that, I close it. Because everything is recorded, you can just catch up on the first two weeks. Master Shah has created a step-by-step -step program. Step-by-step. -step. This is how you open your spiritual channels one by one. These are the practices you do to awaken your direct knowing channel, to awaken your third eye channel, to awaken your third eye. They are step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. If you want to know how to do this, there is teachers out there that teach this. I'm just one of them. You get a dedicated 12-week program. So you can go to my webpage. Kristen just posted in, in her chat box. Thank you, Kristen. And you can also just go to my webpage on the home page. Scroll down about three quarters of the way. You'll see the, the item there. So back to the topic. Why can children see, not all children, but a lot of them, believe it or not, can see the soul world? Why do you think the little toddlers are going, oh, oh, always looking around, not looking at the human being? What are they looking at? They're looking at the soul world. All the angels are all around them. They're all around us. We just can't see them. It has been tuned out of us, literally. What tunes us out? Cell phone frequencies, uh, toxicity of the air, water, food, negative thinking, everything away from love. Love carries the highest frequency. If we lived in the frequency of love, our channels would open right up, no problem. So very important to understand that frequencies and dimensions are very closely related. Even within our frequency, literally about half of what is available to witness in our, in our third dimension, we can't even see. And what we could see, if we could see them, is beings from the fourth and fifth frequencies that have come. Now there could be ghosts, for example. What's a ghost? A ghost is, is a soul that uh, lost their life quickly, tragically in most cases, not in every case, uh, but very often it's they weren't expecting to lose their life. And so there was no conscious process of crossing over. And so their last thoughts are where they are stuck at. And they, stay, they get stuck in a rhythm. Okay, And so they are in between us and the higher dimensions. That's a representative example of what a ghost is. So there are some that are not pleasant because they are doing unpleasant things uh, when they lose their life. And so they're stuck in that mode. So we, you know, they're not bad souls, they're just lost souls. And the light is always trying to surround them to take them higher to the higher dimensions so that they can move forward on their soul journey. But very often they're oblivious to it because they're stuck in their thought process. And this is a, a, another thing to be conscious of. Not only are you a manifester in this life, what you think is what you bring to manifestation along with your karmic conditions. They work hand in hand to bring about your future. But you must and should be very conscious about the crossover process and recognize that whenever you cross over, it doesn't matter if it's uh, from a heart attack or from just, you know, old age or from a tidal wave. It doesn't matter how it happens. You need to train your brain and your consciousness to gear your thinking towards God, Buddha, Jesus, something positive. Okay, because once you cross over, your consciousness where you, where you left off at very often will take over. And that's what happens with people in the ghost realm. Uh, fourth dimension is still layers before we get to God, according to the wisdom that Teacher Master Shah works with.
that the divine layer starts at fifth dimension. Now, there will be a lot of people out there that hear that and go, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not saying it has to be your truth. Okay, this is what I've come to understand, and I trust my spiritual teacher because he has literally opened my spiritual channels. He has saved my life. He has, uh, uh, he has done things for my loved ones where 20 years of suffering is just gone in an instant. Uh, he takes zero credit for it, and all 20 of his books are divinely flowed. Uh, world worldwide bestseller. I don't think it's accidental that he has the knowledge he has. I think he receives it directly from Source. And if Source tells him that the divine layer where God resides is that fifth dimension, I'm going to go ahead and believe it until I find out empirical evidence otherwise. Everybody might have a different perspective. So between here and the fifth dimension, there are layers of frequencies. <clears throat> everything carries a frequency. Everything, 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 everything. That includes a book. That includes transmissions within the book. That includes calligraphies. That includes Lula, Lula, Li. Everything carries a frequency. And in order to go from where we're at and have a limited range of visibility to move to a higher dimension, what do you think the solution is? We have to raise our frequency. What Master Shah has done for all human beings, all souls in all universes actually. If you pick up one of his uh, books, the first chapter repeats itself in every book. He doesn't change the information. To me, that is just a man of pure, <clears throat> pure intention. And what he says is, I have dedicated my life to serve humanity, Mother Earth, <clears throat> and all souls in all all universes. How many, how many uh, great masters have you come across that say that? They stop in most cases with humanity and Mother Earth. He has a much bigger vision and a much bigger power. <clears throat> and what he brought to humanity was higher frequencies. I really want you to get this, guys. I really, 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 really want you to grasp that he brings higher frequencies. How do we get to the fourth and fifth dimension? How do we skip over any of the unpleasantness in the fourth dimension? Because there is some unpleasantness there. There is a lot of good things there. But I'd personally rather go from here to God myself. Okay? And if I got to go in between here and there, then I want to be on the light side of it and want to be in the higher frequency version of it. So how do we get there? We do it by surrounding ourselves in every moment of every minute of every hour of every 24 hours of every day of every week of every month of every year, surround ourselves in every moment forever with higher frequencies than ourselves. Dadao, Jurgen, the big way is extremely simple. Why do we keep passing it up? Why then do we revert backwards? <clears throat> Dot down to your gym. The big way is extremely simple. Surround yourself with the highest frequencies possible. If you truly do your homework around who is Master Shah, the last 20 year history that validates he carries with him extraordinarily high frequencies, heavenly frequencies. If you do your homework and validate that these heavenly frequencies have been put into calligraphies, books, music, and that they're freely given to humanity, that he has a 24-hour chanting channel, tv.drsha.com. And 24 hours a day, you just turn that on and leave it on and your whole environment is just getting bathed in fourth and fifth dimension frequencies and higher. 
Why? Who would not want to do that if they truly grasped the nature of frequencies and how they elevate us to higher dimension? Thank you, Kristen, for posting uh, the introduction to Master Shah on YouTube. If you could post the tv.drshah.com link, that would be good as well. <clears throat> am I promoting Dr. Shah, Dr. Master Shah? No, I am not promoting Master Shah. I am promoting a being of light that came to serve humanity, that has brought my life a, an additional 180 degrees full circle towards full enlightenment and I've searched a lot 30 plus years I search, I've wor worked worked and trained under multiple enlightened masters he is the third one and I can tell you unequivocally he is an enlightened master that carries with him heavenly frequency so if you want to move forward on your spiritual journey sing love peace and harmony why why would you do that? Because when you have a negative thought, is that a high frequency or low frequency? Which one's going to win? It's up to you. If you go down the emotional bucket road, okay, great. How has that served you so far? Has that helped your health? Has that helped your wellness? Has that helped your sleep? Has that helped any part of your health and wellness? Has it helped your soul journey in any way when you're off on this emotional tangent? <clears throat> Why not pick up a book and trace calligraphy for a few minutes? Change your frequency. Why not chant love, peace, and harmony? Change your frequency. Why not read one of his higher frequency books? Da Dao Jurjin, the big way is extremely simple. Life in this third dimension is vicious. It is Hard, H-A-R-D, it will kick your butt all over the place. It is not an easy place to be in this third dimension because our individual and worldwide collective karma is just smacking you left and right. Every time you wake up, we get smacked, okay? Even our loved ones, they smack us, you know? Kids fight with each other, they talk back to us. It's a constant bombardment of negativity. We are uh, controlled, literally, by those in the world that have the most money. They control us vibrationally through bombarding our TVs, our internets, our airwaves, uh, cell phones, that de degradate our, literally, our cellular structure. It degradates our cellular structure. It operates on a frequency that locks us into that range I was talking about and actually worsens it. It, in essence, disallows us to see higher frequencies, to experience and elevate into higher frequencies. These are truths, okay? I'm not saying you have to believe me. Go do your own homework. I've done my homework. I say it with confidence because I know it's true. Do your homework. You don't believe it. Go find out what I already know. So we as the steward of our soul and our soul's journey we as the steward of this physical body of this dimension that we operate in <clears throat> we have to be responsible for our body and our soul journey and when we elevate our consciousness to a bit of a higher level where we move where we move from selfishness to selflessness we start to take care of each other so I'm giving you this wisdom so you can take care of each other. Because when you elevate your frequency, does it help the whole? Yes. When you elevate your frequency, when you do spiritual practices to awaken your third eye, to communicate with the higher beings, to respond to somebody with compassion, when you respond with the ten das, love, forgiveness, compassion, light, when you act out through life with humility, are you positively impacting all humanity? Yes, because you're elevating everyone's frequency. If you respond with anger, irritation, heavy-duty emotions around other people, put them down to lift yourself up, you are simply doubling up the negativity. That is not helping humanity. We're, you're not helping us collectively move forward. We are a collective. We are one. You think you're going to move forward without the others? Wrong again. All the highly enlightened beings, they come back, even though they could go higher, they don't. They know the rules. 
You don't go higher unless you serve. That's the rules. That's the way it works in heaven. It's the way it works here on earth. We're just so busy in our little dramas that we forget about this truth. You do not move higher on your spiritual journey unless it's through service, unless it's through selflessness. This is the only way to truly move up. So if you want to go down through the washing machine of life, third dimension, third dimension, fun. Isn't this fun getting our butt kicked? Third dimension. Let's get our butt kicked. Let's have some more unpleasant relationships. Let's do this all over again and again and again. Is it fun, guys? When are you going to get exhausted of it? When are you going to be completely tired of it and make the shift? It's not easy. I get it, but you can do it every day, little by little. You can do it by practicing compassion and love and peace and harmony. You can do it by playing love, peace and harmony in your children's rooms and in your house and at the office because it surrounds the higher frequency. It will bless all the coworkers. You can do it by keeping a calligraphy with you in your wallet. Get this little book. I mean, this is only 12 bucks and it's got the highest frequencies on the planet in it. Da Dao Jurgen, the big way is extremely, extremely simple. If you really enjoy getting your butt kicked in this washing machine of life, okay, just keep coming back. Let's keep doing it. But I plan on going forward. And if I don't give you these hard teachings, you're just going to drag the entirety of humanity down along with everybody else that's not wake yet. I will come back. I will serve. I have come back. I'm continuing to serve. And I need a long way to go before I get to that fifth dimension where our beloved divine is. But I would prefer it to be a smoother ride where the washing machine spirals up smoother and smoother and smoother. That's my preference. And so I tell you this so that you can be part of making that difference. So let's do a practice together to make a difference. Let's sit up straight. We're going to use this calligraphy since it carries a high frequency. <clears throat> and we're going to do a practice together to elevate our frequency. And we're going to ask this practice to help um, keep us in a consciousness to do the things that will assist our consciousness to remain in a higher frequency that we can move higher on our soul journey and not get stuck in the washing machine of life. Okay. Let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> Close your eyes, and if comfortable, do this practice with me. Repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, all of the beings of light who have come for this practice today, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I am deeply honored, grateful, and appreciative beyond words for all that all of you beings of light and my beloved creator do that I have not seen, that I have not understood. Thank you for bringing people into my life that have steered me a little bit left and a little bit right to where I keep moving forward on my soul journey. Thank you for pushing books off the shelves, dropping uh, uh, live streams like this in front of me when I least expected it so that I can move forward on my soul journey. Thank you for bringing the wisdom of Master Shah into my life so that it could assist me with elevating my frequencies, moving me forward on my soul journey. To all of the souls that have ever brought challenges to me, thank you for those challenges, for it has caused me to look for solutions to raise my frequency and move forward on my soul journey. <clears throat> I ask all of the beings of light to please bless me with this practice that I will now do with the mantra of love, peace and harmony that I will now chant. I ask all of these beings of light and this mantra to bless me, to be more conscious on my soul journey, to speak with more love, light, forgiveness and compassion. I ask you to please bless me to surround myself with higher frequency, wisdom, teachings, music, calligraphies, 
uh, audios, videos, and more so that I am both protected and elevated so that I can be part of the solution for humanities moving forward instead of part of the problem. Please bless me to release negativity so that I can be in a higher frequency. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So <clears throat> now I will invoke the frequencies that have been placed into this calligraphy to come to each of you and bless each of you to release these blockages and to move higher. If you have a Da'ai calligraphy or any of Master Shah's books, bring it out. They carry extraordinary frequency. Chat with me, love, peace, and harmony. For those just tuned in, welcome Brenda, welcome Apple. Anybody else, please forgive me for not acknowledging you. Um, welcome and uh, chant love, peace, and harmony. Kristen has posted it on one of her chats. And allow the blessings to elevate your frequency and chant to serve all souls. Let us serve. Let us elevate our frequency. I will uh, connect and offer this blessing. To the soul of Da'ai calligraphy, the original Da'ai calligraphy connected to this image in this book. The countless frequencies and layers of divine Tao and source, beings of light, heavens, animals, and more within. I love you, honor you, I bow down to you. I ask for your unconditional service as appropriate to all of the souls watching today, all of those listening on podcast. Please bless them for this request as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony, and I will trace on your behalf. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Why was in Arling? Why run ran lay? One ling rung, her musher shung, song I ping on a say, song I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Smile, send your love. Raise your frequency. This is what the saints do. This is what the Buddhas do. This is what God does. They serve others. Raise your frequency. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la li. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula. Why was in Arling? Why run ran lay? Hung ling rung, a musher shung, shung I ping on a shung I ping on a I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
joy hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Ha, Li. Lula,我爱我心儿灵，我爱这人灵，万里银人儿目相，相爱平安的心，相爱。Ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony <coughs> how 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 thank you thank you thank you So just in this practice, what I heard was there is four of you that would have caught the flu within the next week and that the frequency that you received moved that out of your future. That there is two of you that have some relationship difficulties at this present moment and that this has softened your heart, opened your heart and you will have a pleasant communication when you reconnect to those people you're having communications with. That there is uh, 11, 12 of you that have um, received very important messages from your uh, Heaven's team. And these messages will, uh, there's actually a lot of clearing also. Everyone got clearing but they're saying that these messages <clears throat> are specific to uh, stopping patterns. Um, you'll be like, you'll get ready to interact with a, a child or somebody that you used to interact with in a, in a very reactionary, unpleasant way. And your Heaven's team has like implanted a little, uh, and you'll be like, you just, you'll stop yourself. And, you know, uh, the suggestion is that you chant let peace and harmony do something different respond with love respond with compassion uh, everyone had some blockages cleared in your heart center and um, yeah big blessings all of you frequency has been increased no question about it <clears throat> so when we take the time to surround ourselves with higher frequencies we are elevating ourselves within this third dimension to operate in a higher range within this third dimension of frequencies that are available to us. We expand about half of what we operate in to a higher and higher ability. When we expand to this higher and higher ability, we allow ourselves to hear Heaven's message clearly, to not make choices that could harm us. Our soul could be saying, don't do that, but because we're now taking time to operate in a higher frequency by surrounding ourselves with these tools, we are uh, keeping ourselves from getting in hot water. 
because heaven is always present. Our, our heaven's teams are always present. Our soul is always present. They are always, 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 always trying to keep you from stepping in the gutter or in front of that car or making that wrong turn or making that wrong choice. They are always trying to do it. But because we get stuck in these current operating uh, patterns, frequencies, whatever you want to call it, we keep causing problems for ourselves. So surround yourself with higher frequencies. This allows you to level up as a soul, which moves you forward on your soul journey so that when you move into fourth and eventually fifth dimension, you will have far, far less uh, encumberment and a far greater opportunity to serve others. Uh, Denise, not only may you share this, if you go to lovepeaceharmony.org and if you look at Kristen Earl Haas posts, she has put the links in there. It is asked that you download it and share it far and wide because it has been written in 42 languages, but the music itself that goes with this song, uh, the copyright has been removed and it is hoped that you share it with all souls because it carries extraordinary frequency. Keep it happening in your room 24 7 if possible. So, uh, at work, etc. etc. So, I'm grateful for all those that have come. For those that came in a little late, um, I do recommend after this goes to recorded mode, which is probably 10 minutes from now, uh, to watch it again. Uh, I, I go into the actual teaching about the 10 minute mark. Uh, and if you like this and you'd like to know more, like and subscribe. <clears throat> I am here to serve you. So I want to say thank you for all of you that have come today. I want to say I love each and every one of you. I'm grateful for your presence and I'm grateful for your sharing. And I want to offer my deepest gratitude on behalf of all of us to our source creator, all layers of divine now and source, all beings serving the planet of the light side. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. We invite all these souls to respectfully return. So enjoy your weekend. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve you. I will see you back here on Monday. Bye-bye, everybody.